Welcome everybody here in Twitch and also on YouTube in the future for Four Color Discard. This is a really greedy deck that most likely won't work, but we're going to try it. So we'll see what happens here. Um, basically, what we have here is Thought Erasure and Disinformation Campaign, which are awesome cards. You know, especially Thought Erasure is just one of the very best cards in Standard. Um, and, uh, and then... To pair with Disinformation Campaign, we want even more discard effects. So we have Nicol Bolas and Angrath. Uh, so we can just keep on uh, making our opponent discard even more cards. So if we're playing against Sultai and they have all their card advantage things, like their Hydroid Crisis, and they keep on drawing cards, well, we're going to make them uh, discard them all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, Code Junk, you certainly can. Um, Platf yeah, I, I like uh, MTG Goldfish uh, Toonster for Deckless. Uh, that's that's my favorite platform there. Um, so back to our deck. Um, since we're so since we're playing Disinformation Campaign, I was talking about this in the in the chat a little bit ago. Um, we're spending turn three um, not playing an enchantment that doesn't affect the battlefield. While our opponents like playing creatures out on the battlefield, and we're going to be behind. And so that's why I like having all these Wraths there. Ooh, code junk with a tier one sub. Oh, a tier one sub for the third month. Ah, oh, that's a tier three sub. Tier one subs still great. Thank you so much, code junk, for that resub sub number fourteen on the day there. Um, and where are we at? We are at seventy-seven actually with this number. Um, and so yeah, we need the ras to clean up. So. Uh, that's like the reason to be playing white. In all honesty, this deck is most likely better without Nicol Bolas or Angrath, not messing up the mana base really bad to play red and just putting Bell Haunts in the in the main deck uh, for the discard effect with Bell Haunt, and then also having Eldest Reborns, like having Bell Haunt in this slot and then Eldest Reborn and Doom Whisperer as well. They could go in like the Angrath slot, either one. Uh, Doom Whisperer, of course, can pick up your campaigns, and Eldest Reborn has a little bit of discard built into it. But I wanted to be greedy. I like playing Nicol Bolas, and I like playing Angrath. Those are cards that are, are fun to play, so I wanted to play them. So let's uh, let's try it out, and we'll have the Bell Haunts for the aggro decks in the sideboard if we need those. I got a fifth Wrath here in the sideboard as well, the Cleansing Nova. They could also destroy a bunch of enchantments if need be. No fire, no steel. Let's see, and... All right, four color discard. If you gift a sub, how much goes to me? Uh, half of it does. Yeah, with the subs, I get I get half of half of the subs, so fifty fifty. Okay, let's see. Our hand is awesome. Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure. So yeah, bits I get 100% of the bits. Subs I get 50% of. Um, when you donate through like PayPal, uh, I get most of it, but PayPal takes a cut and everything. I think I get like 90% of a donation around that. Bit, that's like bits costs more like the when you purchase bits you pay like a little extra for the bits uh, so you basically pay like that the fee with donating through PayPal like I pay the fee all right so they have a thought erasure Vraska Moldratha all right well our opponent's deck is sweet um, I probably need to take their thought erasure because we're gonna have keep the land um, I don't want them to take my disinformation campaign I want to play this campaign next turn and then be able to pick it up and we'll have a thought erasure for like the for like one of these other six drops later oh, we could add one haunt of high tower for flavor i forgot about that card what does that card do completely i forgot about that one
Our opponent probably thinks we're playing Grixis. Oh no! I didn't pay attention to my lands. Oh no, I just I just assumed that the the Glacial Fortress would come into play. Uh, I had I had good faith in that Glacial Fortress and it let me down. Now I have to like use one of these surveil things right now. I guess I just cast this one. And I don't get to pick up that campaign later. All right, we're still good. So, got to deal with this as Kanta, though. I don't know how I'm going to really deal with this, Kanta. Yeah, that's that's a good point, Crazy Pyro. And I I think I think donating through PayPal is better for me for taxes, also. Like tax wise. So it's actually probably just better. Mm. That Mortify was a turn too late. If I would have just uh, surveilled over the discovery, I would have drawn the Mortify and been able to kill that that thing. This uses my bet my mana better to mortify plus uh, discovery. I really want to see a non-Nexus deck with Wilderness Reclamation. I feel like the design of the card is to allow you to play something big that doesn't have an immediate effect on curve like Moldrotha and still be able to protect it with a counter spell. Hmm. Do I tuck this thing? And just get it back? Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, I'm talking that. Let's take it back. I don't think I need to contempt the Moldrotha before because I'm, I'm worried they have like another Planeswalker. They find it, plan. another Planeswalker. I didn't put any basics in the deck. So Assassin's Trophy is really good. We probably shouldn't be doing that main phase because I'm a discard deck. But I don't have a Thought Erasure or anything like that, so they're fine. I need more mortifies. Hmm. So this tough this choice is tough because dispersal can get rid of the Eldritch Reborn. But, you know, they can also just discard this thing and then reset Eldritch Reborn, and then what am I really doing after that? I could wait till, like, the third chapter, and Eldritch Reborn, maybe they get my Teferi, and then I dispersal back my Teferi. Um... Hey. No, I 
know you want my pop tart. You don't get my pop tart. Yeah, they could get back Moldrotha and replay Vraska. They could certainly do that too. We found another dispersal. Dang, yeah, that was my plan. Campaign dispersal, but... Not so much anymore. Ooh, they took the contempt. I can just dispersal away this Elder Born now. They don't have they don't have any more blue mana to activate as Kanta because they have this random de detection tower in their deck. They can crack Memorial to Folly though and get something back. But yeah, they're just don't do that main phase. Why are you doing that main phase? You just saw this campaign in my hand. It's just like sitting right here. Hmm. They just sacrificed the land for nothing. And chose contempt, which doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm down, Mass. We are really on the campaign trail these days. Right. Let's skip to the good part. I hope they don't have a counter spell. That's just a 3 3 crisis anyway. Yeah, I could have stopped at end step or upkeep, but I guess I was a little late. opponent really needs to stop doing that during their main phase and just giving us targets to make them discard. We may not have anything to punish them though. We'll see. We need to move quickly. Ooh, never mind, we do. No fire. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. No fire, no steel. <laughs> Angrath MVP. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's why I'm playing Angrath. My mana base is horrible, but the animation's awesome. Angrath's really cool. Totally worth it. Our main, our main win con is, is Nicol Bolas. We didn't find a Nicol Bolas yet. That's our main win con. Alright, so... They're playing, like, Elder Borns and stuff.
All right, this is 65. I probably have too much stuff against control decks in my deck. 63. Yeah, it's basically Grixis with Teferi, Wrath, and Mortify. What three cards do I want to cut? All these cards look good. Hmm. Campaign? I could cut Disdainful Stroke. I don't like cutting Search or Campaign. Or, I could guess I could cut it one campaign. If we're bringing in Thief of Sanity. Campaign's so good. Alright, if we get... Maybe let's get rid of Counter Spells. Counter Spells are lame. Alright. I'm just gonna get rid of two strokes and a negate. Sorry, Hawkeye. I just ate my Pop-Tart. You don't get any. Yeah, I ate the Pop-Tart. Nothing here. Empty plate. Sorry. Yeah, I know you're disappointed. Man, this deck is sweet. You wanna come up here anyway, though? I love the Hollow Fountain Blood Crypt opener. Yeah, maybe Duress is too much in the sideboard. Maybe. I mean, is it though? Hey, hot outside today. Duress is a fun card. It goes well with our discard theme. Uh, those are not lands. Those are not lands. That's not a land either. So they have expensive crisis. Reborn and Carnage Tyrant. Bunch of expensive cards we get to make them discard before they play them. I don't have anything to deal with the Carnage Tyrant, so I kind of need to deal with that thing in particular with the discard spell. Because I, I took out my Kaya's Wrath, so I don't have anything to deal with it. Alright, good. They discarded it. Really? Tilt. Get the mic out of here. The opponent has the secret the secret weapon of um the secret weapon of Assassin's Trophy, which is just instant speed vindicate, two mana. Two mana instant speed vindicate because I'm not playing any basics. Now I've had that tape. I've always had that table in my room. It's always there. Yeah, that was a dangerous play playing the nickel bolus like that. That's true. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I probably should have just thought erasured and negated. Yeah, that was a mistake.
I was kind of paying attention to Hawkeye more than, than playing there. <laughs> that was the worst deck of all time. The mic drafted on the table. Ugh. Toonster with a deck donation. The donation for a deck. Let's see what we got here. Um. So I'll just. Thought Rager here. Hey Todd, love your streams. I wanted to donate this build of Blue Green Merfolk that I've been having a lot of fun success with since RNA released. Nice! I haven't played a Blue Green Merfolk deck. Um. I haven't seen many fish in Twitch land, so we can scratch the itch. Awesome. All right, Toonster, what what day and what's what slot would you like me to play? I have tomorrow, the fourth deck is... I already have a deck for fourth tomorrow. So, like, an... It's like you can choose another... Let's slow this down. Another slot. You know what? I'm not uh, it could be yet. like tomorrow, first, second, or third, or you can do it a different day. Here's the the sweet looking other deck. Um, so base so first deck starts at three. I uh, you know I stream from three to ten. So first deck is like three, and then it's usually about an hour and a half, hour forty five minutes, like hour and a half to two hours for for league. So like. Kind of get started with like the next one at like um, maybe five or so, or maybe before. Ugh. Yeah, Teferi goes back to my hand, and my opponent still has to discard, so they they still just had to discard the um, the Muldratha. I mean, if our opponent got Tyrant, we would have bounced it again, but it would have been more difficult for us. Oh, sorry, Teamster. Fourth, fourth deck tomorrow was. I was saying that's the only you deck that I. Course. That's the only slot that I already I have. That thought. That's the one. That's the one slot that somebody donated for, donated for earlier. I can do third slot tomorrow, or I could do fourth slot the next day. Like right now, we're playing the third deck. So like right now is like right around the time tomorrow that the third deck's played. Okay, a bunch of haymakers back and forth. Our opponent's only drawn five lands, though. And they haven't been discarding any lands. It's so, like they're only five lands deep into their deck. Oh, no, there's there's one more land. So there's six lands deep in the deck. So basically, my point is I think they're going to be drawing a good amount of lands here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We've gone through thirteen lands. All right, third's good. Okay, cool. All right, we got Merfolk third, and Mardu Riches fourth tomorrow. Yep, Steve, you want to play your second? Absolutely. All right. So, Steve-O, yours is second tomorrow. Alright, we're through 15 lands now. There's only 11 left in the deck. Okay, I need some water. You want any water?
When is my play the sharpest? Here be no fire. Probably the no first deck. Steel. Maybe not necessarily the first game, but like the first deck, I have like the the most energy, and you know get get kind of tired throughout the night, throughout the day of you know playing seven hours in a row. What's up, Mass? All right, we'd love to draw a nickel bolus. That's that's exactly what we want, we want to do. We have two nickel boluses in here. All right, not nickel bolus, but good enough. This nickel bolus, we get to play it, transform no it, fire, get like the fairy, no touch steel. the elder born. That kill 25 of your opponent's creatures took way more than one game. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to take more than one game. But you did get 18 in a game. There you go. Yeah, that whole they should draw more lands thing has not worked out for us. Because that, that's not a lands. That's only six, seven, eight. So they've seen eight lands. Out of their 28 cards. Um, no fire, our 30 cards. No steel. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. That's a good one. Good turn. Disinformation campaign to discard the Elder Reborn into Thieves Sanity. Oh, they're gonna take my Angrath? No! You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. They can steal my thief, whack me with the thief, then I have to sack it. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> and then they get one of the top three cards. Fair price. Hopefully they're all lands. Whoa. Search for Escanta, Duress, and something else, and they took something else? I hate seeing the Search for Escanta there. That's certainly a card I wanted. The fire's so I'm, out, I'm out of Search for Escantas. But the embers burn on. Uh, was something else with the, was the last to fairy? Oh gosh, that was a great thief of sanity. Keep up the pace. That's the last one of those, right? No, there's one more Teferi. Unless no, it's exiled. Yeah, that's the last one of those. All right, we need Bolas. It's like our only thing that can save us here. That's not Bolas. No time for a break. All right, I had this game locked up, but I played that Nicol Bolas on turn four when I could have just thought erasured and held up negate and, you know, won. No fire, no steel. How many Zelda Reborns are they playing? Seen three. That card's been a beating. Bolus time. All right, no contempt, no removal, no counter spell, no removal. No removal. All right. We're still in it. Fourth Eldest Reborn? Come on. Hmm. Witness omnipotence.
Could put Muldrotha into play. Did my opponent even beat Muldrotha? I guess so Elishaborn, I sack Nicol Bolas. Oh yeah, they have they have Teferi in play. Yeah, I can't do that. They have Teferi in play. I knew there is a, yeah, never mind, they have Teferi in play. Isn't death the music? Trust me. Reverse. Yeah. So we have to just get our Teferi. Get our Teferi, tuck our other Teferi. Yeah, then I'm going to sack Teferi to Elder Treborn. Yep, Nicol Bolas is certainly better than Teferi. Because if if we get to untap with Nicol Bolas, we get to draw two, so we just get to just draw another Teferi. Yeah, we're a four four color deck. We're Grixis with with white. Also. Is our opponent ever gonna draw those lands? Maybe it's good that they don't have lands because of Azkanta. No fire, no steel. Ooh, anyone wanna play against J Jack? I know what must be done. Rude. Timmy with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you kindly. Just had my first 7-1 with the sealed Mardu deck. Way to go. Alright, so I'm just playing this because we have to discard because of Eldest Reborn. So we might as well play our spell. And we'll keep both of those. Keep the Mortify next. Want to kill that. Want to kill the Eldest Reborn next turn. So Mortify is a great one. All right, and Timmy's sub number 15 for that three-month resub there. All right, it says we're at 75 right now. Deckmaster, yeah, Deckmaster should be working. But yeah, 7-1 with sealed Mardu. Good job, Timmy. All right, so we're going to open it up a pack after this match. <clears throat> this is still game two. Dang, I thought we lost game two. I guess not. No fire. No, no fire. Ram a new course free. So I have three mana right now. All right, let's go get this Muldratha. Let's have some fun. Muldratha and then Thief of Sanity. Cast a creature. Cast this creature. Uh. Cast as land? That doesn't make any sense, but sure, cast as land. And then next turn we can, like, you know, play one of these planeswalkers. We can play, like, Teferi. Oh, we get to play Search for Kanta also? <laughs> I love to cast as land. All right, cast as enchantment. Oh, there's two good enchantments. Let's, shoot. Let's get search for Scanta in play. Um, I have other creatures in here. Oh yeah, more Nicol Bolas. Let's cast as land. Uh, get that one. Cast as planeswalker. Uh, this one. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. 
What do you got over here? I guess I'm taking this duress. We need to move quickly. My knowledge is endless. Hmm. Just play a play a nickel bolus. A new one. Campaign two, we have all this mana. Untap. Moldratha is sweet. Man, when you have like infinite mana and 50 cards in your graveyard, Moldratha is pretty good. Pretty good. Above average. This is still our first match with this deck? I feel like we've been playing this deck for the last hour. Bolus cannot deal damage to players. It'd be way too broken if it could just do 10 damage to a player. You can do you can do 10 damage to creatures or planeswalkers. During each of your turns? I I don't know. I I guess it's just during your turn. But it's like dur so I guess if they just say during your turn, um, you may think it's only like the one time, but each of your turns means that, like it resets. Um, so every single turn it resets. I don't know why our opponent's stalling now. Maybe they have a tough choice with this as Kanta. It's a real fun match, though. Yeah, it's a real good match. How does Contempt work with the Nickel Bolas Planeswalker? Does the creature stay in the graveyard, or is it exiled? It is exiled. There is no creature in the graveyard when you have Nickel Bolas, uh, the Planeswalker, in play. This is the creature. It's just the the back side of the creature. Um, in paper, I think I just have like I, think I had like my Grixis deck over here. Cause somebody else asked about this before. Here's a Nickel Bolas. <clears throat> like in in paper, like Nickel Bolas, like is is like one side, and then whenever you transform it, the other side, Planeswalker. So like the actual card looks like. I, I don't take any time to I'm not gonna waste any of my time to report my opponent. It's whatever. I don't really do stuff. I don't really do like the whole reporting thing. Like earlier we got we lost because of a bug and I didn't really go report that because whatever. Um all right, the John Midrange is almost up on YouTube. Let me finish uploading that stuff. But yeah, so basically the creature and the Planeswalker are the same game object. So like if one gets exiled, it gets exiled and it's exiled as the creature. If it ever leaves the, like if the Planeswalker leaves the zone, it goes back to being the creature. All right, so we got to 15 subs during that game. So that gets us to our next pack. Let's crack it open and see what we got. Uh, 20 gems. Hoping we get mythics, because now we have run out of rares to get with Ravnica Allegiance. All right, next game, 1 and 0. Oh. All right, let me finish off titling this, the YouTube video here, Jund Midrange. February 5th, 2019. 
Got the deck list up. Good there. Alright, all ready to go. How much gold do you farm daily doing the five best of three runs? Um, I would say like my average run, I probably gain 500 gold a run on average. Maybe a little more than that. Maybe it's actually like six or 700. It's probably like five or 600. Um, and I do four of them a day. So it's, it's, it's probably about 2000 gold a day from these. And so that's why people are like, why don't you do, why don't you do ranked? It's like, well, ranked gets you like 2000 gold after like an entire month instead of like 2000 gold a day. What was the bug we lost to? It was like our creatures got stacked. I had two two incubation druids in play and one of them was adapting and one of them wasn't, you know, so I, I was adapting one and then I had to sacrifice, but it, while the one was adapting, I had to choose to sacrifice one and they just got stacked. And I'm pretty sure I chose the one that was not adapting, but it made me sacrifice the one that was adapt, but there's no way to tell the difference between the two at that point. I don't think I need to keep cast down up, but maybe I should have. I guess this is mono blue aggro? Is this just mono blue aggro with this card? Okay, well I definitely punished for not keeping cast down up. Yeah, they're using the Finx to scry to look for Curious Obsession, most likely. I hadn't seen it before. I think next turn I just play Kaya's Wrath. Gives me a better chance of finding another cheaper spell to double spell with this Mortify. I could see our opponent letting this resolve, thinking that, and like them having dived down. Okay. Nope. If that resolved, I was going to just start ticking up and just attacking their hand with it. I don't think I, I wasn't going to tick down to try to steal Trickster. I was going to tick up. Because if they, if they attack Angrath, then, you know, I'm, I'm certainly good with them attacking Angrath. Should just play Goblet Shrine here. I don't know why I just played that the land in.
Should have played Godless Shrine there. All right, we'll draw in, draw in the Kai's Wrath. I mean, I'm just going to cast that, and then next turn I'll have Wrath plus Mortify. So thinking they probably have Dive Down. So yeah, don't know exactly what these other cards in their hand are, but probably Dive Down. At least one of them. Yeah, that trickster was really good. Really hurt that I didn't play. Didn't play an untapped land to have cast down available there. Learned the hard way the dive down doesn't protect against Kai's Wrath. Yeah. It does not. Uh, I don't I don't think I really care for the Sphinx. I don't know if it totally that good. Four mana is just so much for their deck and how you have to like keep other mana up, so you really have to have like five, six, seven mana, like whenever you're playing it. I don't like it. I think it's gonna be kind of a dead card in your hand too often. One one doesn't kill us too fast. Well, that, that's good. Yeah, so for mono blue mate's good enough just for the opening hand effect to be sure you get an opener but is worth running a meth flyer. Because even that opening hand effect, like it it basically means you're mulligan to six. Like even when you have that effect. Certainly had dive downs. Had two dive downs, in fact. I'm known for my excellent timing. Well, I'm not so sure about that, Fairy. Timing doesn't seem too excellent here. So if I if I just try to tuck the Terramander, they have the Siren Storm Tamer to protect it. You know, the Terramander is just a 5-5. Five, five. You know, we're at 5. Um, so I have to try to draw something else. Alright, so I have Duress, Negate, Thief can block. Um... Let's see.
All right, I'm gonna take out Contempt. I wonder if I take out Search for Escanta here. This is 66. Hmm. Do I really want these Thief of Sanities? I think I'm cutting campaign. And... Maybe I don't actually want Thief of Sanity. I think I like the five mana Planeswalkers. I'll have one Thief in the deck. Yeah, I'll have one Thief in the deck. I think I like the five mana Planeswalkers because I think we need the advantage they provide. The card advantage and everything. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this is like the the matchup we got to get rid of the the disinformation campaign. Ugh. So we have discovery on two. So we have a lot. We have a lot of looks to other mana sources. Kaiser at being double white is annoying. Yeah, nice four color deck. Yeah, I'm I'm glad Thief is so fragile because it's 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 just such a powerful card that if it wasn't so fragile, it would completely dominate. So I'm I'm glad that it is very fragile and that it dies to everything. That's the kind of card that if it if it dominated the format, it'd be. Um, would not be very fun to play against all the time. I think they got it at a good power level. I'm glad that it can't play lands. I think that if it could play lands, it'd be a little too good also. I think they have it right at a good power level. It's still really good. And you know, it's a, it's an awesome card, but it's not too good, in my opinion. This is rough. Yeah, them having one, you know, one drop obsession hand, it's just hard to beat. It's hard to beat one drop obsession hand, especially if they have like dive down or whatever also, which they probably did. This is this is really bad for us. Like these are good cards, but it's unlikely that they actually res work. Kind of just need white mana. And like if, if I had four lands, I would keep those. If I if I had a fourth land, I would keep those if I could double spell and play play one and then play another one. I would like that and I, I would really like that. But the thing is, is I don't have four lands and if I keep one, then I'm just probably not going to have four lands. It's tough. Hmm. Kai's Wrath may be difficult to cast.
Don't think we're gonna win this game. Don't think so. All right, we're getting there. Almost had it. So we need to draw a white source and for some reason them not have any counter magic. We can beat a spell pierce if we draw the white source. One and one. One drop obsession. One drop into obsession. Still really, really, really good. All right, let's see how we do. All right, we're on the draw. We can keep this on the draw. It'd be tougher on the play to keep this, but I th basically, like the difference there is, we get we get the extra card on the draw, so it's easier to hit our third and fourth land um, with that extra card. And there we go. Glacial Fortress helps out there. Midnight Reaper. So I don't, I don't want to cast Kaya's Wrath with Midnight Reaper on the battlefield. I'm going to get rid of that with one of our cards. I would have preferred to get rid of it with uh, Vras's Contempt. but So they get to draw one card here, which is of course the Jade Light. We'll see if they have another green source for that Jade Light. Yeah, Angrath's really cool. They do not. All right, come on, land, black source. I guess, yeah, actually, white would actually didn't matter which, which color we got. All right, and we're at seven. We have mostly stabilized. Yeah, we've stabilized. So they probably just have one one thread, and we can just kill it with a variety of cards. Find finality. <laughs> kind of surprised they want to keep this wild growth walker so much. Do I want to Contempt or Mortify? Guess I'll just gain the life with Contempt. And 
now they have to sacri or they have to discard the Jade Light Ranger. And we're look looking really good. They have no cards in hand. Alright, so they're gonna folly back Jade Light and play Jade Light. Or or not. That card's the ultimate Kaya Eldest counter. What card? Oh, Silent Gravestone. Oh, okay. Yes, I love. Take me all the way. <laughs> Zoink. Please run. A chase stokes the forge. Give him less mana to work with. Um, Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Alright, so Yankrath's gonna die. Because they got, they got back Hostage Taker, but that's just gonna happen. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Take me all the way. I, you know what? I'm not done yet. I liked having Kai's Wrath in this deck. Kai's Wrath was pretty nice. Gonna go ahead and mortify the Midnight Reaper. Cancel. Wait till end step. Because I don't mind them drawing another card here, honestly. We can make them discard some cards. But I certainly want to get that thing off the battlefield. Hold that thought. Ooh, they got something better than Hostage Taker. What is it? If it's better than Hostage Taker, what you got? Jade Light Ranger. Yeah, that would have been that would have been just fine. Gain six life. No, 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 no. No gaining life. All right, sideboard wise, we could do something. Or, hear me out, we could do nothing. I probably should have this other Cleansing Nova in the deck. I think this is what the Cleansing Nova is for, to have another Wrath. I'm going to play that over the Moment of Craving. So I'm going to do that, and then anything else? I kind of think nothing else. I am a little worried about uh, Vivian, though. I don't have... I only have two Contempts, so I don't have many answers to Vivian. I don't think I'll be able to have the mana... like. I, so if I if I have negates if I want to bring a negate to counter their negate I th I think it'll be kind of tough for me to have the mana to um, to play a wrath and have negate available it's kind of tough my my plan is just to be 
proactive and just use thought erasures and disinformation campaigns and that kind of stuff to attack their hand. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing I need to discovery right now. I'm going to wait till after I play the disinformation campaign. Um, so I can surveil and put that back in my hand. Vivian here is what I'm worried about. You know, I'm... I could play it safe and mortify the Incubation Druid to make it so they can't play Vivian this turn, but then they just get to play Vivian most likely the next turn. Uh, worst case scenario. How this thing goes is up. This is Zypop. Welcome. Okay, well that's not so bad for us. I am glad they used their Vivian to. They minus. I'm. I'm very glad they minus. Thanks, I pop sub number seven sixteen on the day down to seventy four. Balance here. Comes. Now, hopefully, Nickel Bolas can finish off our Vivian, the opponent's Vivian, and Alkalal. Sixteen months. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Sixteen months for sub number seventeen. More Vivians. More Vivians is bad. I always survive. You'll see. All right, hoping we hit a land drop here. Ugh. Or not. So if we get the land of this next turn, like they play Vivian, kill Nicol Bolas, and then I get to steal Jade Light Let's and kill Vivian with stolen Jade Light. That can't help you now. But then Incubation Druid kills my Angrath. But we're still we're still doing good. If we get to steal. Alright, so we get to steal. Here. Wants your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Not bad for a mouse. This is going to take their turn to kill Angrath, and they're just basically out of cards. The fire's out, but the embers burn on. No lands. Hmm. Wow. That's really bad. Third Vivian? I didn't live through hell to lose. You can't stop nature. Ugh. We have to draw like one of our Teferis or Contempt. Maybe we can get one of our Teferis. Or also maybe not. Man, third Vivian. Meet my newest friend. They're just getting three cards a turn. Man, our Reaper is so good. They, they're probably playing three Vivians. 
And you know I have three Teferis. And they get all three of theirs. And I have zero of mine. I've seen things that so would break goes. someone like you. <laughs> nope, no Star of Extinction on the sideboard either. We have a couple Contempts. Man, they had nothing in their hand whenever we played our Angrath, killed their thing. They had nothing, and now they have... Now they have everything. All right, third game. Nothing stands before nature. All right, Hawkeye, we need, gotta win this third game. Should I play Negate, Disdainful Stroke, or Duress? I want two of Negate, Disdainful Stroke, or Duress, but I'm not sure which two. Hey, that's my water. Um... I go duress. It goes with my discard plan. Yeah, I want to, I want to be able to do it early. You know, take Vivian, take take their counter spell, take their negate, take their Vivian. But it it works well with the rest of my uh, discard plan. Also, keep their hand low. It's true. I can't I can't duress top deck Vivians, which is the problem. Certainly a problem. We got that Vivian out of here. Uh, do I want this Discovery? I'm going to cast Discovery next turn. No. I want. I want to find red mana for Nicol Bolas or find my other Planeswalkers. I'm pretty surprised they didn't just keep they didn't keep that branch walker honestly. Huh. And I'm going to wait till like turn 5 for this duress so we could see if they give him a couple of turns to draw another Vivian before they have 5 mana. They could just have negate here though. Bolus is a good or like red mana is a good draw for Bolus. All right, now Next turn's the turn I want to duress anyway. They have the Vivian. Man, opponent's really good at drawing Vivians. Glad we threw that duress in our deck, though. That duress was certainly better than a cast down, getting Vivian out of there. Uh oh. 
Atlas Reborn's a little bit of an uh oh. I was hoping they were going to keep that in their hand. Alright, but next turn, as long as they don't draw removal here, we're good. We get to flip Bolas, get Vivian, Vivian kill Eldritch Reborn. So no removal spell this time. Please don't, please don't top deck a removal spell. Okay. That's good. Yes, Krasis is absolutely a safe mythic to craft. Absolutely. I, I don't think it will get banned at all. I think it's it's a safe one. There are none greater than I. I like this Vivian you got over here. Let me see Death that thing. Nothing to me. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? No one said restoration was painless. All right, we got game three. Four color discard. Doing its thing. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Crisis to be around, to be banned at all. Wouldn't expect that. That was a pretty good showing for our deck. I wonder what our opponent's craving. I guess it's, that it's not a moment. Oh, well, maybe it is. Uh, dang. Okay. Come here. You're in the way. I can't see my hand. You're just laying down in front of the, the screen. This is the place we were made. I certainly want the campaign for next turn. So next turn I'm playing campaign. Do I want Contempt? Yeah, Contempt's probably worth it. I don't know if I can beat... Honestly, I don't know if I can beat this Dawn of Hope. This Dawn of Hope's gonna be tough. Good thing I kept the Contempt. I am not going to sit this one out. I wasn't even asking you to sit this one out. You can do whatever you want, fairy. Yeah, discovery is better than treasure map, especially with disinformation campaign too. We need the we need the surveil with campaign. Ooh. All right, found a way to to defeat Donafope. I forgot we're playing Mortify. So yeah, we need we need that surveil for for campaign. Good news is they only have one card left. Hopefully it's not very good. We can like Angrath and start and attack their hand. This card isn't any good. Let's 
Let's admit the past has beat us. Dissolve Corporation. You're just fuel for the f no fire, no steel. Light up all the luggage. Shiver my horns and hammer. No fire, no steel. Man, our deck is sweet. The Angrath to Fairy no combination. Break. Every turn they discard a card and we draw a card. Each turn. Every single turn. Yeah, hopefully we get to see Angrath ult. I could just tuck that. I could just tuck the Wilderness Reclamation. No fire, no steel. Was that even like necessary to tuck that thing? Keep up the I don't pace. know, I'll just go towards the ultimate. I guess I could have just dispersed it right there. I don't know what the scary like what's the scariest thing this wilderness reclamation can really do? Like on its own without anything. You know, like if they what draw like Arch of Arazka? I, I can't think of anything scary that, that thing can do. I guess Chemistry's Insight. Like insight into like more insights. March of the multitudes. Hmm. Alright, Thief, Bell Haunt. Negate, duress, disdainful stroke. I'm not sure about this bell haunt. If I take out wrath, cast down moment. All right, maybe not bell haunt. So this is 63. Yeah, cleansing Nova is probably amazing. Yeah, Cleansing Nova is probably amazing. I don't know if the... So, like, I'm not sure if they're going to just board in some creatures. The creatures that I usually see them board in is, like, is Hydroid Crisis. Which I got plenty of answers to. I don't know what... The thing about, you know, so I can play Nova also, but the thing is, is what, what don't I play? Like, all these cards look good. I could not play Nickel Bolas, maybe? Nickel Bolas Disinformation Campaign? I mean, Campaign's got to be good. Yeah, Campaign's got to be good. I take out the nickel bolses and a Teferi. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, they could have Frilled Mystic? Yeah, I could see some Frilled Mystic. Frilled Mystic could be annoying. This is a an odd two pair that we have here. We have two pairs of Escantas and Contempts, and there's only two Escantas and two Contempts in the deck. So I led with a Clifftop Retreat because it would not come into play untapped, but leading with that means I get to play Ascanta on turn two and then Campaign on turn three.
They just didn't play a land. I'm not sure about keeping that Cleansing Nova. I don't even have two white. I'm not so sure about that. They have a lot of anti-creature stuff here. Revitalizes, settles. Search Rose Canta, you gotta find a land. For my boy Angrath. It's not a land. It's not a land either. There's a land. Yeah, it's certainly safer to just get the Ascanta out of there right then. No time for this isn't digging a with the campaign, win. and I could certainly end up costing me. That's their second to ferry. Yeah, because they they ex surveilled or explored. I don't know. They put one in their graveyard already. Let's hurry. I shouldn't have kept that cleansing nova. I got really punished for keeping that cleansing nova. That was a bad keep. I'm at six, so if I put this in the graveyard, I get to flip as Kanta. It's a good card, though. Certainly a good card. DMAC, thanks for resubbing there. Second month. Thanks, DMAC. Thanks for the kind words as well. Um, this is tough. I certainly need to cast Contempt this turn. Please don't have another Negate. Let's skip to the good. Yeah, not not mortifying as Kanta. Looks like it's going to cost me this game. So, I messed this one up. Yeah, the only thing that can save me now is like my own Teferi to tuck their Teferi. That's, that's my only answer to Teferi left. Yeah, I messed this game up. Another wilderness and a settle. To 
fairies at six. I mean, I, I could have won this game. This game, this game's my fault for not mortifying the Ascanta. But yeah, I don't, I don't love our opponent's deck either. Keep up the pace. This isn't really a case of our opponent's deck being too good, though, of why I'm losing this game. I made a bad, I made a bad decision. I think they just whiffed on Ascanta the first time. I just can't even win. Hmm. All right, I'm I'm off that Nova plan. I'd rather just have a Teferi, I think. I, I really liked the Bant Flash deck. It felt really strong to me. Um, uh, a friend of mine played it after after we played it um, and said they didn't do very well with it, though. So, not sure. But I, I like it quite a bit. All right, keeping this Discovery because it can help us find blue mana and just hit land drops like we need to get you know we just need land drops here especially blue mana so this is this is a good card to to lead with on turn two hey and there's land drops and blue mana keep both of those They have their own Cleansing Nova. Alright, I'm going to take their Disdainful Stroke. Um, cause we'll have our turn 5 first. With our... Get our Planeswalkers in play. And they have the two Teferis. You know, hopefully we get our 5th land here though. Had a couple draws at it. Come on, 5th land. Still.
we're not gonna draw fifth land, drawing negate is probably like the next best thing. Yeah, I certainly uh, would have liked Nexus to be a sorcery. Oh, I wanted that to go to the graveyard. Dang it. Well, I guess I'll play it. I just clicked the wrong button. In my head, I want that to go to the graveyard. I just clicked the wrong button. I clicked library. Sorry I'm late. We need to move quickly. I'm a little surprised they didn't Cleansing Nova this away or Teferi it away at all. I'm not surprised they didn't do either. Hmm. Wait, that doesn't do anything. I don't have the mana to activate Dawn of Hope. Unfortunately, our Thief of Sanity didn't help us out too much. Even though we got to attack with it for a turn. You know what? I'm not done yet. I imagine that's our only turn we're going to be able to attack with it. No. Oh, if we get... Oh, yeah. That is awesome for... Oh, wait. They can... I guess they can have Negate, though. Dang it. Please don't have negate. Please don't have negate. We can t Angrath steal the Krasis. Okay, result. Here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair price. All right, to ferry down. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I gotta get rid of these enchantments now. No fire. What creatures can they make with no Dawn of Hope? Steel. Two. All right, this looks really good for us right now. Yeah, the minus has gotten a whole lot better with Krasis being widely played. The minus is awesome against Krasis. And that is likely game. Our opponent has nothing. No fire. We got Angrath in play, Thief of Sanity going. About to play this to Fairy. They needed to draw something that turn, they didn't. Um, taking the insight because if I don't take insight, insight goes to their graveyard and then they have uh, the ability to use insight to cast it. So I'm just, I'm not even going to cast this insight ever. I'm just exiling it. Because even if I cast it, then they get it. And I don't, I don't want them to get it. What, what happened? 
We are killing our opponent. They, they play like a big Hydroid Krasis, and then we used Angrath to steal the Krasis and kill their Teferi. Hard to love it. Yeah, that was, it was awesome. Fool. And boom, three and one. Boom goes the opponent. Disdainfully stroked. Ugh, stretch time. Good match, good match. There. <laughs> oh, they're, well, they're really dead. That was certainly a time to, to scoop. They were really dead. I mean, we had two Planeswalkers and Thief of Sanity going crazy on the battlefield, and they had zero cards in hand. So, I don't think that was too early of a scoop. Green one. Oh yeah, then we had Mortify for their Dawn of Hope. That was really important. Uh, not enough lands. There we go. This deck's pretty crazy. Um, let's go bottom. You know, we don't have another white source. We don't know how good it, exactly Kaiserath's going to be anyway. Yeah, and then we have we have search. That's a good point if we need to find another Kaiserath. You, oh, you like cast down to no spectacle? The search was the search was Kanto is just better. The earlier you play it, like the earlier you play it, the better. So I'm just get, I'm just getting it down right away to help help our mana situation. All right, we'll take the four. We have this is what we have all these Bas Basilica Bell haunts in our sideboard for. I'm kind of excited to play a bunch of those. Lands. It's not a land. I didn't want to use the Mortify on this Lava Runner because of Experimental Frenzy, but I. I mean, I'm, I'm going to, though, because, you know, we're under pressure from the red deck. We can't just, like, sit back and take take damage. So I just got to hope they're not playing Experimental Frenzy and or they don't have it in their hands. It's a land, but it's a painful one. But it's a land. Go, Nicol Bolas. Yeah, I've seen I've seen that most red lists are kind of moving away from frenzy uh, because of the en the enchantment removal in main decks, and especially like frenzy and risk factor don't play that well together. So I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have frenzy with having risk factor there. Ugh. <laughs> yep, we're a four color deck. The old Nicol Bolas Kaiserath deck yeah that's a good point light up the stage helps as well down to six These shock lands are killing me 
please run. A chase stokes the forge. I think I'm only going to six because we have the contempt, but of course we're dead to two burn spells. No fire, no steel. I would not be surprised if my opponent has two burn spells to kill us. Light up the stage is their worst card. That's probably not good for me. Please play a creature opponent. Creatures. Yeah, do that. Do more of that. I love it. Alright, I don't love it as much. No fire, no steel. <laughs> Our opponent had two lightning strikes in their hand? Woo! They could have killed us. All right, we're still alive. We're back up to seven. Got rid of both lightning strikes from their hand. We're still in there. No fire, no steel. Three plus three equals... See, that's, that's the thing. Honestly, what what does 3 plus 3 equal? It could, it could really be anything. It could be any amount. Money from the lottery. I don't know exactly what we're really looking for here to win. I mean, we just got to keep on taking up this Angrath. I'm probably going to have to play new Angrath. We have to, like, tick up Angrath seven times, basically. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to ultimate. Ooh, that's fortunate. No fire, no steel. Alright, well now it's a better chance of us ultimating. Now we don't have to we don't have to throw down the other Angrath. We're down to two. So let's surveil. And then draw. You know what? I'm not done yet. No fire, no steel. Hmm. I mean, like, Contempt's about the only thing I can really find here. Well, Mortify shuts off the out of a... We didn't find Mortify. Or we didn't find Contempt, but that shuts off the out of a Haste creature. No Burn Spell, please, one time. Angrath ult kills them. Oh, that's so close! Oh my gosh, that's so close. Alright, so... Oh, they, they could have saved themselves. They could have just hit the Angrath. They could have saved themselves. Alright, I, I still haven't seen this ultimate yet, I don't think. Or no, we saw it the other. Yeah, I think we saw it. I'll yeah. die standing before I live kneeling. <laughs> Opponent plays by no rules. Ugh. <laughs> oh, poor opponent. 
Should have won that. All right, time to get this bell haunt up in here and the gates. Uh, don't know if we need duress. Man, the Angrath crushed it. Calm down now. They'll just say. What's well, Model White Judith? It's like a, a Model White Aggro deck with Judith. You can find it here in the decks. Alright, let's try this. Will Gruel Spellbreaker ever see play? I kind of see it either way. I mean, most likely, yes. It's a good card. And we have Land War Elf. So, most likely, yes. But it hasn't seen play so far yet. Think I want Kaya's Wrath over the campaign? I was thinking, like, the campaign could, like, take out... Uh, I was thinking we had an, probably enough discard for, like, the other creatures. The campaign could, like, make them discard a burn spell. Yep, this is my deck. Just made it earlier today. Made it... It's super, super greedy, mana-wise. Gosh. These are all tap lands. Can we keep all tap lands against red? I don't think so. I mean, I like these removal spells. I don't think we can keep all tap lands against red on the draw, though. Mm. It's not a white source. I'm going to ship it. I want a second white because of all of our bell haunts. Alright, Code Junk, take, take care. Alright, Hollow Fountain turns on Drowned Catacomb and Clifftop Retreat. I guess the Blood, the blood Crypt would have done both as well, though. So I could keep up negate for the strike. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it's possible our opponent doesn't have another land. If they have another land, they're probably playing Chain Whirler. I'll keep negate up for strike. Hope they don't have the land. Nice, paid off. No, we don't have any Lyras for support here. We have we have the Bell Haunts. This is our this is my anti red card. And the sideboard. Gains life, blocks, makes them discard. We're all about all about that discard. Dang it. I was so focused on just playing this Mortify here that we just drew a cast down. I could have got the tap land into play here and not have to shock. I kind of was just already already doing that before I even drew a card. And then, as you can tell, I immediately noticed. Played a little fast there. That's alright. Our, our opponent helped us out last game, so we can help them out. We can give them two life.
I, I certainly shocked for at least four last game. It might have been six. I I do I know our fourth and fifth land drops I shocked last game. I decided just that thought erasure is going to be dead really soon, so I decided just to go ahead and use that. No, I, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play ego against Drake's either. If that somebody was asking about that in chat. will do. So like Bell Haunt next turn, and then the following turn hold up negate and discovery and then while well, holding up negate. Shock and Wizard's Lightning. Well, thankfully they didn't play that fourth land, so they can't play both of those next turn. Alright, I'm just going to kill that. Start attacking. And I'll negate the Wizard's Lightning next turn. Yeah, Lava Runner would be a bad top deck for me. <laughs> Holding the land's a very sneaky play, Todd. Yeah, I guess so. See, if they just had four lands, they'd be able to play the, that Shock also. So we saved two life there. Opponent gave us that two life back. Uh, keep up the pace! Yeah, it's true. I could have just attacked and have them attack back. We need to move quickly. Help us out, deck. And the Bell Haunts taken over. And I think we're going to be 4 and 1. I think. So they could just draw a bunch of 3 damage burn spells in a row, though. That's really good for us. Let's skip to the good part. They would have drawn like three, three of those in a row. Yeah, imagine if they would have played their land and would have had sh and would have been able to cast that shock, and I'm just sitting here at three life right now. But they're flooding out. I would have had to, you know, try to contempt my own things. Hold that thought. Yeah, risk factor is still pretty scary. Absolutely. That's a good point. That's a good point. I didn't really even consider that, but that's that's something I could have done is tucked my own bell haunt when I had discovery. Just tuck my bell haunt and then discovery 
you know, explore the two things away, draw the bell haunt, play the bell haunt again. I didn't even, I didn't even consider that as a play. That would've been a good play. I was just kind of going, going quickly there. Didn't even consider that. No, I don't, I don't need a Teferi ultimate on the opponent there. Don't need to do that. Just hit for lethal. All right. Ugh. Final boss. Grixis discard, making it to that final boss. <laughs> Should have done that. All right. Final boss time. Are we going to get that fifth win or are we getting two losses? Let's find out. We got to get in the zone here. Time to get in the zone. Does four color combo have an, a name? I guess it it depend on the, the combo deck that it would be. Boss music. I've been I've been really pleasantly surprised at how well our mana base is working out. Very pleasantly surprised. It's twenty dollars for for me to submit a deck. Um, and yeah, if you scroll scroll down, there's an info panel all about donating. You can find more information there. Spell Pierce Drake Drake. I could just take the Pierce. They play a couple of Drakes, and I Kaya's Wrath them. I have now noticed that I don't know if I can actually cast Kaya's Wraths, so my my plan may not work out too well. We'll see if we can discover another white source. Ugh. All right, my, my plan is, is not working out very well. Bearded beer time. Sub number 19 on the day. Thanks, bearded beer time. Thank you so much for that support. So that's sub number 19. We are only one away from the big 2-0. Uh, it says 76 for that. <laughs> Quick, plan B. Uh, plan B, certainly try to f look for another land. Down, down. Drake, shock, shock. Alright, so Bulls can just trade with the Drake. We'll make him discard that last card. Alright, time to get that 5 1. Where's my Tears emote? There we go, Tears. Made him discard a crackling drake. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good one for us to have them discard. Bolus smash. Where 
Where's the playlist? There we go. I have no time for a break. Yep, we're playing a four color four color control deck built around having the opponent discard cards. And we are currently four and one. We have we lost to mono blue. That was our loss. I'm just gonna cast this thing to gain two life. I think I just adapt it. Huh. I, I am glad that that ate a spell pierce. I think I just adapted the Terramander. Uh, we need to move. Okay, yeah, I can't seem to beat Soltai with your Naya mid-range deck. I can't beat the Krasis. Is there any suggestions for the sideboard against it? That is that is a tough, tough card to beat. Um yeah, that, that is absolutely a tough card to beat for the Naya mid-range. So are you doing... Is it like the Naya value list, like with, with the Militia Bugler? Is is that the list that you're talking you're about? You're just fuel for the fire. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. Okay, the Ooze Bugler list. Okay. That is... That is... Honestly, that's... That's a really tough matchup, and I think... That's the reason why I, I've kind of put down the deck, honestly, because I, I do think Soltai is like the t the toughest thing, because like the two diff most difficult cards for that deck is Finality and Krasis, like kind of individually. Um, sideboard wise, you could have like no, that's not a good option. Let me let me th yeah, so that's that's certainly tough because you have to exile it. Settle the wreckage. Yeah, just having like settle the wreckage in the sideboard. That could that could work out with that matchup, like whenever they attack. That could be something. Or uh or actually maybe just Ixalon's binding. Enchant I used to not like enchantment removal. Um But with Krasis, Ix like enchantment removal is a lot better because it doesn't matter if they destroy your enchantment and get it back. So yeah, like seal away. Um, or binding. Binding means they just can't cast other crises. So like binding is awesome against it because you get to exile it. They can't cast others, and then even if they use like a Vivian to destroy your binding, they just get a zero zero back. Oh yeah, I've been stealing a lot of Hydroid crises with Angrath and smashing people. It's been pretty great. All right, so we're playing against Drakes. Um. I think I want two duress. Over two Kaya's Wrath and a negate instead of a campaign. I'm going to try that. Oh, right. Craving. Need to cut Craving. Gotcha. Yeah, you can't outvalue them after they get those cards. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is just a really tough... Really tough. That that matchup got so much worse with, with Krasis in there. It really did. Um, do I have any destroy artifact cards besides Teferi? I guess I have Dispersal. Yeah, I was just talking about you, Dispersal. Yeah, you can't play Takali Honor Guard in that deck. 
Yeah, you can't do that. I assume they named Teferi. Yeah, they named Teferi. Why do I keep this Nickel Bolus? I didn't even have red mana. Oh, I should have got rid of that Nickel Bolus. I don't have red mana. Well, this is not working out. I should not have kept that Nickel Bolus. If you right, so we'll just have to ferry on the battlefield. I'll show restraint. Get out of here. I would like to draw this red mana. Because that will probably empty their hand. Between them discarding a card. That's good. Between them discarding a card and then like eating the lava coil. For Nicobolus. That's a good one too. That's what I want. I want their hand empty. So I can dispersal. They just didn't play Enigma Drake? What are they, what are they keeping? They want to find protection for Enigma Drake, I suppose. Did they find it? All right, you got it, you got it. We'll see if they want to actually kill Teferi or not. Is Spyglass a thing in Drake's against Soul Tide to name Vivian? Seems like that could be a thing. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't seen Spyglass and Drake's too much, but that could certainly be a thing. Yeah, I cannot activate Teferi because of Spyglass. I could, like, take that and go to one for sure, but I don't want to give them another draw step for protection, but I could like take it and then after damage, try that out. If I dispersal right now, they discard dive down, keep spyglass, replay spyglass. I have another dispersal for it. No time for a break. I could have end, end stepped dispersal on on their turn. And then thought erasure it away there, but I don't know, we get to activate the Teferi here. No, dispersal is an instant. Yeah, it's instant, it's pretty cool. Alright, graveyard, flip as Kanta. I just had another dispersal, so we're all good.
boom. Man, our deck looked pretty impressive there. So we beat we beat Sultai. Um So we beat Sultai, Turbo Fog, um Drakes. Some good wins, Mono Red. Mono Red won. Not sure if we should have won that, but we won that. Bought it. So, you know, like a really big variety of decks. Lost to Mono Blue. Let's see what we got here. I Basically, I, I earned more gold uh, doing this instead of the ranked. And I like the structure of these things. All right, we got 20 gems, and we got a, a rare that I haven't don't have four of yet. What do we got? Phyrectory Lich. Phy phylactery. Phylactery? I guess that's the word. It's really detailed clothing that the Lich is wearing. Looks pretty cool. It's a three mana, five, five, indestructible zombie. How could it be bad? So at the beginning of the video with four color discard, I was saying that I didn't think it was going to work. And, um, you know, I wanted to try it out and we were really greedy by playing red in this deck for Nicol Bolas and Angrath. And that honestly, Bell Haunt in like the Nicol Bolas slot, um, and then like Doom Whisperer and Eldest Reborn here would probably be better if you want to make like an es Esper discard deck with Campaign and Bell Haunt. But honestly... After playing it, it was a lot of fun, and, and that's the thing. Nicol Bolas and Angrath are both really fun cards. They did some really crazy stuff. Nicol Bolas, uh, in particular, really helped us win some some crazy games. Oh, yeah, we played against uh, a Sultai control deck the first round. That that Sultai control match was awesome. Um, yeah, if y'all if y'all missed the first round that we played, we played a really long match against Sultai that was awesome. And, yeah, Angrath, Angrath's ult won, and won us and we Angrath was, was really good you know we got to steal a lot of things uh, we got to kill like a Vivian uh, after stealing like a Jade Light um, got to steal some Krasi Krasi um, did a lot of damage with the tick up we got to ultimate to beat Mono Red um, so those two cards were really strong and they they were awesome um, yeah that, that's right Nickel Bullets got to take yeah because they got to take Muldratha from the Sultai control deck and so then I got to start just casting all my creatures and enchantments and planeswalkers and stuff in my graveyard with their Muldratha. Oh, that was awesome. So, yeah. So, and honestly, the mana wasn't so bad. I think the biggest thing that I got a little stuck on sometimes was white. You know, I'm not, I'm not playing a lot of white sources. So we have 13 white sources, you know, and, and so playing Kaya's Wrath right away on turn four is tough. But... That's the thing. I, I I spent like thirty minutes on this mana base of like trying to fit in as many of like the different sources that I want that I wanted and it was really tough. Um That was like that was the one thing that kind of struggled with at times, but it, it honestly worked better than I thought. I thought that it could not work at all. But yeah, this deck was pretty cool. Yeah, every game was full of action. Yeah, this is a good deck. So there we go. All right. Four color discard. Awesome. All right, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get all the other videos. You know when those come out, right? Reflecting pool would be nice. Um, we're doing. I'm doing another 12-hour stream whenever we get to 1,500 YouTube subscribers. We're about 150 away from that. I think we had about that at the beginning of the stream today. Um, so there's my YouTube channel there. I just put it in chat. If you miss any of the videos, you can go back and watch them. But yeah, again, uh, on YouTube, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.